This is a model of a generalized animal cell, and uh, so it's a mythical creature actually. Uh, not all cells are the same. This one has uh, the typical plasma membrane on the outside, but it's not shown in detail. Inside we have uh, the uh, nucleus, the largest organelle. Between the nucleus, nuclear membrane and the plasma membrane is what we call the cytoplasm. There's a semi-fluid uh, matrix here that uh, is used for reactions, etc., and where all the organelles are, and also inclusions. Organelles are the machinery of the cell. They have a job to do. They're permanent structures. They may change in number, but they're permanent structures. The inclusions can come and go. They may be stored things like melanin or glycogen. Now, uh, in the nucleus, of course, we have uh, the genetic material of the cell. Uh, in this cell, it looks like it's uh, thread-like, so that means that it's called chromatin, it's non-dividing. When the cell gets ready to, uh, to divide, uh, undergo mitosis, then those chromosomes supercoil and condense and become visible as chromosomes. Also in here, we see the uh, nucleolus, which is where we uh, have the sub make the subunits for ribosomes. Those subunits will leave the nucleus and go out to the cytoplasm where they actually are involved in protein synthesis. Now around the nucleus, we have a double membrane. Uh, it has much larger pores than what we find in the plasma membrane. The pores are about 10 times larger. They're surrounded by proteins. Uh, also on the outside, the outer membrane of this nuclear uh, membrane, also known as an envelope, are ribosomes. Continuous with the nu outer nuclear membrane is the endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, this is the rough ER because you see these little white spots here. They're supposed to represent ribosomes. It's here that we make proteins. Then they're packaged up and they travel to the Golgi apparatus. I'm not sure this should have a connection here. Uh, as they move in and out of the stacks of the Golgi, they get further modified and they get packaged. There's three possible routes for them after they're uh, finished. They may be going to the uh, nuclear membrane, become part of the membrane there. They may be go to the lysosome, where they can be lysosomal enzymes, or they may exit the cell. They may, it may be a secre secretory product that's used elsewhere in the cell. Uh, we also see here the centriole. These are microtubules. These are involved in mitosis. Uh, and of course, we see the uh, mitochondria here. Mitochondria are double membrane. Uh, this inner, what we call Christi, allows for lots of enzymes, lots of surface area, pardon me, for enzymes. This is where we make most of the ATP in the cell. Glucose, uh, single glucose entering the cell would only make a, a net gain of two ATP. Two ATP put in for out, net gain two. But using the mitochondria, we get 36 ATP. Now, uh, not shown here, I think, is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth does not have ribosomes. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum is used for uh, lipid synthesis, detoxification, and other things to do with lipids. Now, uh, that's pretty much overview of the cell.